Maybe the catch of the year right there. High fly ball, right center field. Marisnik back to the triangle. Long, long, long run. He won't get it. And the Red Sox walk off with the win. How do you like that? Big puppy again. David Ortiz, an extraordinary final season in the making. What a moment. And a career of extraordinary moments. He's done it again. Beltre homered his last time up there. Hammered a pitch right down the right field line that got out of here by 20 feet. He is three for four this evening. Hammered deep left center field. Way back. Goodbye. Wow. Adrian Beltre and their Angels walk it off. Seven to six. Dansby Swanson cracks one to center field. That ball's well hit. Turner going back. It's over his head, and that's going to ricochet back toward the infield. Dansby's got two. He's on his way to third. They're going to wave him. Here comes the throw to the plate. Dansby Swanson is safe. It's an inside the park home run. His first big league homer, an inside the park bomb in Washington. Can you believe that? Now the 2-2. A swing and a pop-up. Perez, Santana, Santana makes the catch! Ball game! The Indians have won the American League pennant! And Cleveland, for the sixth time ever, you will have a World Series. The Indians are the champions of the American League. MLB The Show is on the air as we come at you this evening from Globe Life Park in Arlington. Tonight, the first of this quick two-game series between the New York Mets and the Texas Rangers. A big-time arm and a power bat should be fun. First pitch is next. Cole Hamels will be on the mound for the series opener. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, Matt, his last outing was curious to me. That's the word I'll use as curious, because if you go five innings, you get that five and bail, right? Well, he went five innings, but then he got the loss. He just wasn't able to go further. I think he's got to give them a little more distance and be able to execute his pitches early on a little bit better in this game. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Reyes. And as you can tell easily from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. Fly ball into straightaway left. De Shields is there, makes the play one away. And now a chance to meet the Mets. Who are you focused on, Dan Plezak? Well, Matt, I really like the way Neil Walker is playing right now. He's certainly a guy to watch out there in this lineup. Everything he does makes them click. When he's swinging the bat well, they just go. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Bases are empty, one man out. A fastball right over the outside corner. And our game time temperature this evening, a nice 74 degrees. Ready on one and two. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Down the third baseline. Backhanded. Throw. Got him. And that's a gorgeous play. Hey, not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Now at the plate, Joanna Cespedes. Currently ninth in the NL in hitting entering play. Uh -huh. And this one is over and he works the count back to two and two. And set up behind the dish is Woody Keller as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Matt, I gotta be totally honest here. With Woody Keller behind the dish, don't be too surprised you have a few questionable calls. It's not that he's consistently off, but I've been told. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. So a spotless top of the first for Cole Hamels. 
And now the Rangers will get their shot in a scoreless ball game. Steven Matz is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Mets. What do you have for us on him, H? Well, Matt, he's had good success against left-handed hitters, hitting under 250 against him. When you're having that kind of success against the left-handers, you're going to be in a lot of games. Stepping up now, Elvis Andrews. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. And a half swing here, but this is in there for a cold strike, too. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Cespedes is going back. Gone to lead off the inning. How about that? A solo home run for Elvis Andrus. Third home run for him on the year. As the Rangers strike first, it's one to nothing. Well, he hit that ball like he was looking for it. Just really crushed that pitch. Into the box, Carlos Gomez. He swings and grounds it to short, and that finds its way through for a base hit. That is a great two strike approach. Spread his legs out, kept the hands Having back, third. and just punched the ball third through for one. a ground ball base Adrian hit. Adrian Beltran. Digging in, Adrian Beltran. And he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. Set to deliver on nothing and two. Here it comes. Hit weakly back to the mound. Reyes. Return throw is in time. And what do you know? They do get the double play. Now time now to look at Jeff Bannister's Rangers lineup card in this one. How do they get back into the win column here, Harold? Well, Matt, the bats have just gone cold. There's no other way to put it. I mean, the last three or four games, they've really struggled to score runs. I'm interested in seeing how do they turn that around in this game because the nucleus of this club and this lineup, they should be scoring runs. Here's Rogne Dodor now. He's hoping to start this series a little better than the one he finished last time. He was 0 for 5 on Sunday. Now a swing and a bouncing ball for the shortstop, Reyes. Throw in time, and the side is retired. But the Rangers are in the run column first on the strength of this solo home run. Second inning coming up. It's now 1-0 Texas. Stepping up to the plate, Jay Bruce, currently with the third best home run total on the ball club. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. Here's the 1 and 2 delivery. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Chasing after it is to Shields. He tracks it down. A nice running play, and there's one away. Let's take a look at the defense for the Rangers, brought to you by Majestic. And behind the plate is Jonathan Lucroy. You know, everybody talks about his ability to frame pitches. One of the best framers in all the game, but I really like how he catches and throws. This guy can catch. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. He begins play in this one with his batting average over the 310 plateau. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. And a changeup right down the middle. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. 
One two is the cut fastball but he holds back two and two. Liner towards second but there to take this one is the second baseman and that's out number two. Second baseman. Here's Neil Walker. Neil and the Walker. average isn't pretty. Down into the roaring 220s to begin the ball game. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Mets. They're down one nothing. Digging in now, Jonathan Lucroy. He carries the eighth best average in the American League entering play. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. This guy's got a tremendous curveball. He just froze the hitter right there. Did you see that? To two balls and two strikes now. Set to deal on two and two. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Taken by Walker. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking down there at the catcher, Travis Dorno. The thing about Travis, not a big guy, and he's had some injuries along the way. But if he can stay healthy, he's got a great pitching staff to catch. In now the power-hitting outfielder, Nomar Mazzara. Back on Sunday, he picked up a hit in five trips to the plate. Breaking ball, cold third strike as that catches the zone for out number two. Here's Mike Napoli now. The average for him entering play sits down in the 250s. Ready on one and two. This is line to left. Cespedes will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. So they go quietly here in this half inning. We play two full. It's the Rangers one and the Mets nothing. Back with Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian as the left handed hitting slugger Lucas Duda starts out the inning. back swing and a little tapper that's a foul ball set to deal on a ball and two strikes grounded softly to the right scooped up on the backhand and he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out coming eight Stepping in, Travis Darno. His average for the year sits in the 280s entering play. The one and two pitch. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Now here's the pitch. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Coming to the, to the plate 12. now, Juan Ligaris, hitting a Ligaris. little over 250 coming into action in this one. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. The 0 2 once more. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. Man, that is the cardinal sin for any pitcher. And you Short never stop, expect seven. a guy of this caliber okay, to make that mistake. Had the hitter down 0-2 and let him off the hook by plunking him. He'll be talking to himself about that one. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Now Reyes awaits the 1-1. One, one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Ready with two balls and a strike. He's running towards second in the dirt. 
Oh, and this is low, and it won't be dug out, so he picked the right pitch to run on there, and he's in at second base with a stolen bag. Once the catcher realized that pitch was going to be a worm burner, I think he gave up on worrying about trying to throw out the stealing base runner. That was a good job of just keeping it close and preventing the runner from maybe going all the way around to third. And that ball misses four. ball four so it's first and second now with two out. Now batting. Settling in now as and Dribble Cabrera. Two on two out for him here in the third. <laughs> to third up with it is Peltrick. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So it's no run, no hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The Rangers on top here, one to nothing. Here's Joey Gallo now. He was one for four in Sunday's affair. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Here's the one and two delivery. The one two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Into the windup. Here comes the two two pitch. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That elevated fastball. Every hitter Left thinks fielder. that, hey, they can do something Still with that, but most Dutch of the time, shields. you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss, and another strikeout. Stepping in now, Delino De Shields. And this is popped foul off to the right and back into the seats. Looking for the strikeout, here's the one two. A swinging bunt to the mound. On to first, and there were two down. The shortstop, number one, Elvis Andrews. So bases are empty here with two gone, and it's back to the top of the lineup now for Elvis Andrews. Two out, nobody on. Ah. Taking all the way, it's three and one now. Come on. Swing and a liner. And a little self-preservation down at first as he pulls that one in to end the inning. One, two, three, go the Rangers. But they're on top, one to nothing. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Full count, here it comes. Shot toward right center. Uh, this will not elude the right fielder's grasp as he ranges right over to handle it for the first out. Jay Ready for Bruce. another chance? Jay Bruce comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Mets are still looking for their first hit of the ballgame. And here's a ball hit in the air. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. He'll try it again, three and two. Again, he sends it out of play. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. So with two gone here in the fourth, let's check out our pitch speed comparison for the two starters. And both guys bringing it pretty good. A couple of matching 94s as the two top speeds thus far. Digging in to try it again. David Wright, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now the pitch. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. All even at two and two. Here it is. Now a swing by right, but he got a little too far in front as this will find the seats down the left field line. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. And a neck-high fastball that time. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 pitch there, but 
kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Mets go down one, two, three. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Into the box, Carlos Gomez. He'll lead it off against Steven Matz. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Outside, 2 and 1. And now a curveball as he's got a lean out of the way. That one nearly got him. This is one of those rare hitters counts we've seen in this game. They're just having a difficult time getting it going. Grounded to short. Right there is Reyes. Throw on to first in time, one away. The third baseman. Number one gone in the Texas fourth. And digging Beltre. in the third baseman, Adrian Beltre. Set to deal. Here's the 3-1. Sinker misses ball four. Well, he walked him on five pitches, but that last pitch was really good. He missed down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3 1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. Working for the punch out and the offering. And here's one that barely misses off the inside corner, two and two. That turns out to be a good take on that front door breaking ball, but you have to wonder if that pit There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Ligaris going back on it. He makes the play, really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. The batter. Catcher. In is the catcher Jonathan Lucroy. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. One run, two hits, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. Grounded to third. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Rangers lead one. They lead it one to nothing. Here's Neil Walker. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready to deliver the 1 and 2. Hit in the air to center field. And this will be taken in out there by Gomez for the first out. So still nothing against him on the scoreboard here in the fifth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And we see that these guys currently sit fifth best in the American League in that category. Riding in once again, Lucas Duda comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to 2 and 1 now. Well, he clearly read the scout report. This guy's been sizzling hot, and look at how careful he's been pitching him. He's fallen behind now, three and one. One out, nobody on. Ball That's four. Ball. Take your base. Hey, they haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, now but at least is. they have a base Captain. runner here. We'll Grab see if it. that leads to something. Darnell. Here's the catcher Travis Darno. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Look at it, guys. Double him up right here. Swing and a ball pulled foul into the lower level and left. No runs, no hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Runners off for second. Swing and a miss strike three. The throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. So he can't make contact there on strike three. But meanwhile, the runner on first takes second here with two men away. So striding in, Juan Ligaris, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep him out of danger. We'll return to Texas in just a moment. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Nomar Mazzara. First time up, he went down looking. 
And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But a foul ball, one and two now. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Another 2 2 offering. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Just tied him up with that last pitch. Pretty evident by the swing. Sometimes guys get in that protect mode so much that they're swinging at everything that they see, and they end up offering at pitches that they can't possibly do anything with. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit on the ground out to short. And this will get on through past Reyes for a base hit. That's an impressive swing on a tough pitch. A sinker from a right-handed pitcher going into the right-handed batter, and he's able to get the bat head out and hit it in the left field. That was really cool. Here's Joey Gallo now looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Oh, and they pulled a string on a good changeup there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. Oh, wow, this guy's mowing right through this lineup right now, but that's what happens when you don't get a chance to see a pitcher very often. That's one of the things that are helpful when you're pitching in interleague games. It's always a good advantage for the pitcher because the hitters don't get to see that guy very often. Standing in now, Delino DeShields. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. Just a bit jumpy that time. Swung on and missed. All right. Three two count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving. So we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. He's set. Here's the three and two towards second. That's his first base hit. Make him one for two now. And the throw will come in quickly from center, so despite the hit and run, they won't get the extra base here. Two strikes on him, and he flips one out to center field. You couldn't have thrown that any better. In now, Elvis Andrews. And he goes with the pitch here and drives it the other way to deep right. And it'll fade just at the end and winds up a long foul ball. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Grounded down the third baseline. And now a swing and a ball hit in the air out to left field. Cespedes is there. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Five innings complete. It's the Rangers one. And the Mets nothing. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. He'll lead it off here against Cole Hamels. One one is a cutter that misses two and one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Two and one now to Reyes. Takes a knee-high fastball. Tell you what, his spot has been the outside pitch right there, and now we're late in the game, and he continues to pound the outside pitch, and it's really working out for him. Ball three. Three and two now. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Played on the backhand. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Hey, when the guy in the mound is working on a no-no this late, every play is exciting and, and stressful for the fielders. We'll see if they can continue making the plays behind him. Takes a look at a changeup there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. One out, nobody on. Grounded up the first baseline, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Now another one-two. 
And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Here's another one, two. And this is swung out and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. That was a good job there of using the batter's aggressiveness against him. He was putting up a good fight and fouling a lot of balls off. So as a pitcher, it's a great idea to expand the zone even more and make the hitter really chase after something that's even hard to foul off. Good time to take something off, but it's two and one now. Well, it's two and one now, and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at bat yet. As a hitter, you've probably got to sit on that right now. Called strike that time, and it's even at two and two. Here's the pitch on two and two. Good change up in the dirt, strike three, and that ends the inning. So Hamels had it work in that half of the inning, and he's got himself a one nothing lead. Here's Carlos Gomez. He'll get his side started in the inning, and Dan, so far, they've been stifled offensively since the first inning. Boy, they sure have, Matt. They came out of the gates and got hot right away, but whatever was going for them pretty much has disappeared. We'll see if they can wake it back up. For Walker now at second. Throw in time at first. A nice play in short right for the first down. Good range showing off into the hole right there. That's not an easy play, but these guys make it look that way sometimes. Into the box now, Adrian Beltre. Oh, and he shoots this back into center field for a base hit. Well, he was out early working on that swing and batting practice, just taking it right back at the pitcher, okay. right off the L screen. Second, you eliminate that screen, it's just Man, taking it from the practice door. field to the game. Nice job. Looks like a left-hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen. Into the box, Rukna Dodor, a little bouncer. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Tapped out in front of home. And he'll just beat the throw to second. He's in there. Ready for another chance. Jonathan Lucroy. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. And that's in there. Base hit. Ball comes in quickly though so no error on the bobble and the bases are loaded now. Well Matt that's his eighth game with that hit right there. Now, eight him. games in a row right. is swinging the bat. We've been watching him over this Come week on. just scorching. Mazzara. Digging in to try it again. Nomar Mazzara 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts for him so far. Down the first baseline but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Ball and two strikes. Here it is. Now a swing and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. Wow, talk about frustrating. Not what you want to do with the bases loaded. A simple pop up and nothing productive comes out of that. Stepping in now, Mike Napoli grounded back up the middle on to first and the Rangers squander a good opportunity here as the side is retired Rangers threaten but leave them loaded but they hold a one nothing lead welcome back to Arlington the Rangers on top in this one as we get a look at our game summary through the first six innings of play Here's Jay Bruce now and guys seventh inning already. Hey I'm not complaining but this one's been flying by. Yeah I'll agree with that Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all and they've trusted their defense to make the plays and they've done just that. Yeah and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. And this one misses to Bruce as he moves out in front. It's two and one. 
He's obviously been very impressive on the mound in this one. And I think the big reason why is his ability to stay out of the middle of the zone. That's kind of obvious, but it's clear to me that even when he misses his spots, he's not missing over the plate. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? I think one of the keys, Matt, you want to try to initiate contact. The one thing you don't want to do, you don't want to run the count to three balls and two strikes. Whatever you want to throw, throw it over for a strike. DeShields, a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Ready for another shot now. David Wright. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Mm, right down the shoot that time. 1 and 2. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. The fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. The 2-2 two -two now to right. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Gomez has a read on it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now batting, second baseman, Neil Riding in once again, Neil Walker. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Very weakly on the ground. That winds up foul. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. And oh, look oh. out as the cutter ran way in and just about drilled him. I like that he tried to tie him up inside on that pitch, but it was a little bit of a risky situation because if you're off just a little bit, you can end up plunking a guy. That's the last thing you want to do when you've got a guy 0-2. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Good swing on a tough pitch and he'll stick around to see another one. Another try at 2-2. Swing and a liner. Foul. Well, now they wait to work the count. This is a long A-B, but if they wanted to have any shot at him, you need to have these kind of at-bats early in the game. Outside and a full count, three and two. Next pitch will be number 100 for him now through six and two-thirds. Tell you what, six and two-thirds, he got 100 pitches. He's done a nice job being really economical with his pitches. This is indeed a battle. The 11th pitch coming up. And another foul ball. Another one sent foul. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Two out, nobody on. Shatters the bat as this is hit on the ground. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets. They still trail 1-0. Settling in now, Joey Gallo. Yeah, we thought we might be seeing the end of the road for the starter, but clearly he's still in there for at least one more hitter. Yeah, I'm not sure, Matty, but I think this lefty-lefty matchup right here may have been enough to convince the manager to stay with him. So we'll see if it works out. Throw by Reyes is right there for the first down. Now about it. About it. And here's the second Delino. generation big Delino. leaguer, Delino DeShields. A hit in two tries so far. From the windup, the 3-0 pitch. And oh, they won't let him walk that easily as that somehow ruled the strike. Three and one now. Full count now. Three and two. Bases are empty. One man out. Okay. 
hit hard on the ground to second. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. He's been looking really good. Another hit, another multi-hit game. This hot streak has been really fun to watch him perform. Elvis Andrews will stand in again as we take it back to earlier in the ball game. This one swing here has been the entire offense to this point as this home run accounted for the only run they've tallied so far. Eric Goodell enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Eric Goodell. Runners on first with one down. Bruce will come over for a look, but this will wind up back in the crowd, a foul ball. And he lays off the pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Well, that's what you want from your curveball on one and two. You start it in the zone and let it break out of the zone where it can't be punished. Didn't get him to go after it, but the execution was nice. Cespedes comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for out number two. Center fielder number 14. Carlos Stepping Gomez. in and ready for another shot, Carlos Gomez. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. This is in the air to right. Bruce has a read on it. And the inning is over. One left for Texas, but they lead it one to nothing. Digging in, Lucas Duda. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Down by a run, your guy needs to get on any way he can. His mentality has to be to shrink the strike zone to like the size of a soup can. No reason to swing at a pitcher's pitch. And he takes a cold strike at the knees, and that'll run things full. Now here's the pitch. Popped up. And this is taken in for out number one. Now we'll look at our starter comparison for the two starting pitchers and these home fans have been treated to a real gem as evidenced by that big oval shaped number in the hit column on the right side of your screen. Here's the catcher Travis Darno. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Hamels ready with the 1-1. One -one. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, two and one. One out, nobody on. And this is on the inside edge, perhaps off the inside edge, but it's a called strike, two and two now. And the pitch. Takes this the other way to right. Mazzara back in, plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Well, a huge out number two here at the eighth. Four outs remain, but the finish line is starting to come into focus now. Here's Juan Ligares. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Hitters count now. Here's the 2 and 1. A good knee high changeup taken for a strike. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. On the ground, up the middle. Base hit, and the no-hitter comes to an end here in inning number eight. Oh, uh, so close. But with one swing of the bat, the no-hit bid ends here with two out in the eighth. Still a remarkable pitching performance nonetheless. I really thought he was going to get it. I was looking forward to the ninth inning. He's been in such a great groove, but... Wow, to give it up that way, that's a tough one to swallow. Ready once again, Jose Reyes. 
fourth trip to the plate now and he's hitless to this point. Yeah he and his teammates have really been shut down by some very good pitching in this one. Then fun for a guy like me to watch. And a change up right down the middle. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. On the move is Gomez. And that ends the inning. Mets strand one. It remains one nothing. Here's the third baseman Adrian Belfry. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Here's the one and one delivery and a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Ligares is under it. One down. Now batting. Pitching certainly has been on display in this one and there's the evidence of it right there one nothing our score as there are an awful lot of zeros on that line score to this point. Here's Rognit Odor now he's batting cleanup but has been shut down so far at the plate 0 for 3. Your attention please. Now pitching so with a left handed hitter waiting they'll go to their own left hander out of the bullpen. Here it comes on one and one slider up that he gets a call on bases are empty one man out ground ball sent back up the middle and this will get on through past Reyes for a base hit they've left a lot of men on base they've had plenty of opportunities and here's another one after a base hit they find themselves with another runner on let's see if they can bring somebody home this inning. at first here one man out standing in now Jonathan Lucroy here's a high pop up and he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out in now the power hitting outfielder Nomar Mazzara over three with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. he's set and the one two pitch and that swung on and fouled straight back. Oh, he might have got away with one two strike breaking ball that ended up being in the zone. I think he probably won that out of the zone, but fortunately, he just fouled him off. And a dive by Reyes, but it's by him a base hit. Back to back sliders. He fouled off the first one, and the pitcher probably thought, you know what? I'll throw a better one this time. And he just Mike didn't execute Napoli. the way he was thinking he might. In now Mike Napoli swung on and missed and that's the final out of the inning Rangers leave a pair but they're up one to nothing Your Sam Dyson please. comes on from now the pen hoping to finish this one off here Number in the top of the ninth Sam Dyson as Drupal Cabrera will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. 1-1 one, one pitch coming now to Cabrera. And a neck high fastball that time. He's set and the 2-1 pitch. A fastball that just misses inside. I understand pitching carefully to this guy in the box, but the man on deck doesn't represent any relief either. He's going to have to go after one of these guys. Three and one, here it is. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Pretty adamant about working him inside right now. Back to back fastballs, and that one was able to find the zone. He's set. Here's the three and two. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line in right. Mazzara is over to his left as he snags this one for the first out of the well, inning. Number 52, Ioannis Cespedes. Digging in once again, Ioannis Cespedes. 
No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Here's Jay Bruce now. Jay Lifetime against Bruce. Sam Dyson. He's one for two. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Cole Hamels in line for the victory should the lead hold. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. Time to narrow your focus up there at the plate. In a one-run game, he doesn't want to walk it, so there's a good chance he's going to get something to handle right here. Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Swing and a line drive, but foul. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Swing and a liner. Throw will be in time to get him at first base, and the Rangers will put an end to their three game skid as this ball game is over. Wow, that's a rarity. A one nothing game in baseball these days. Both of these pitchers pitch awfully well. It's a shame one of them had to lose this game. And that one run held up tonight. one nothing the final. Paul Hamels earns his fifth winner of the year, allowing only a single hit across eight full innings. Steven Matz takes the loss despite allowing only one unearned run. Sam Dyson records the save, his 23rd of the campaign. So that's a wrap here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click on over to theshownation.com. One run on nine hits. Drake delivers as a drive to right field, hit deep, back by the bullpen gate, it goes, and it is gone! Stubbs, the right fielder, jumped and couldn't get it, just to the right of the 380-foot marker, David Ortiz ties Mickey Mantle with his 536th home run. 10-2 Red Sox. Here's the 0-1. This is going to be a tough play. Play it. The Cubs! Yeah!